eyes. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in, hold it there. Oh. 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 Om Shri Ganesha Yanamaha, Om Shri Saraswatiya Namaha, Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha, Samasta Jana Kalyane, Miratam Karunamayam, Namami Chinmayam Devam, Sadgurum Brahma Vitvaram, Sadgurum Brahma Vitvaram, Yoanta Pravisha Mamavacha Mimam Prasuptam, Sanjeeva Yatya Kilashakti Dharasvadhamna, Anyam Shahasta Charana Shravanatva Gadin, Rana Namo Bhagavate Purushaya Tukyam, Rana Namo Bhagavate Purushaya Tukyam, Rupandrusham Lochanandruk, Tadrushandruk to Manasam, Drushyadhi Vrittaya Sakshi, Drigeva Natu Drushyate. Mila Pita Stula Sukhma Raswadir Ghadi Pedataha Nana Vidhani Rupani Pashil Lochana Mekadha Andya Mandya Patutveshu Netra Dharmeshu Chekadha Sankalpa Yen Manashro Tratvagadau Yojatamidam Kama Sankalpa Yen San Kama Sankalpa Sunday Ho Shraddha Shraddhe Driti Pere Reer Dheer Bheer Ityeva Madin Bhasa Yatye Kadha Chitihi No Deti Nasta Naitesha Navridhi Yati Nakshayam Swayam Vibhatya Tanyani Okay, so we have seen till here a quick recap because two weeks means the rust is there on the mind. So, Rupam Drishyam, this is what we are saying. We are trying, this is Prakarana Grantha, where we are trying to develop this buddhi which can discriminate between what is sat and what is asat. Right now, the things like I feel this is my body, where the body should have been an anatma. But I have given that body that status of atma, the living thing, and I, uh, and I possess that ownership, and I call it as my body. And then whatever is associated with it, I start linking that this is my thing. So then whether it is my house, my car, my things, my people, my relationships. And I have this strong, close association with that I-ness and my-ness from which my world is existing. So there we need to discriminate how to break this, which I have closely associated and kept. How should I train to disassociate and not to get trapped into the pleasures and the sorrows of what this body or the relationships this body has made with the world uh, to entrap me into it. So that I can be what I am, which is an infinite source of happiness. So at the moment, I'm not feeling that I'm an infinite source of happiness. So when the first step is taken in the first verse, where what we are seeing, we are seeing the world. We are seeing the things. We are seeing the forms. This I understand. So this is Rupam Drishyam. All these Rupas, all these forms are the Drishya. They are the scenes. Who is seeing that? 
lochanam the eye is seeing that so eye is the seer the rupa the forms are the seen but is that all rupa many seer is many seen is one this is outside and the lochan is inside seer and the seen are not one and they cannot be one and they cannot interchange also so these few things we have understood with this rupa and the same thing we have to start applying but is that all no rupam drishyam lochanam tad drishyam tad this lochanam is tad it becomes drushya drushya to whom a scene to whom drukto manasam druk the seer of this lochana this eye is the mind is that all then so the eye is many or what we will say no the eye is seeing so many forms neela pita stula sukshma rasva huh? dirgha the colors the grossness or the subtlety or rasva dirgha because what so many things are there hmm? with the eye that is uh, catching the scene of outside this eye is it only to no the eye has got so many other dharmas andhya mandhya patutveshe the eye can be sharp weak dull acute so the rupas are this neela pita the lochanam is one the lochana has different dharmas andhya mandhya huh? so whether the blindness or acuity or dullness or sharpness but the mind is one but is that all then no then dhivrittayah so dhivrittayah means the vrittis of the dhi the vrittis of the mind they can be many of course they are countless right now in the class before joining after joining and at this moment also mind has wandered somewhere and it's quickly come and settled in the class the moment i've pointed out okay the wandering mind okay then you've got it so there would be many dhi but there is one sakshi so now this third seer this is the final seer there is no other sakshi to see this sakshi this is the final sakshi so drugeva no to drushyate this this dru this seer this is not seen by anything else so this is our final seer so this is how i've just combined the first three shlokas and kept that each step is going subtler and subtle the more outer the thing is it is many and the more inside you come that is reducing and finally when it is sakshi that's that about it there is there is no variety there is no modification there is nothing about it it is just there okay so these were the first three uh, things and then of course uh, karma sankalpa is there of the mind which we saw and then rebhiti that we saw then for this sakshi we were seeing that shloka on which we had stopped last time no deti no astameti we cannot plot it on time hmm? then we have put navruddhim yati nakshayam it does not increase it does not decrease we cannot plot it in space this we had seen and that the swayam vibhati atha anyani swayam vibhati it is self effulgent and because of that it can illumine other things and then bhasayet sadhanam vina it does not need something else to show i don't have to show a candle or a torch to see the sunlight moment that the sun is rising everything even before it comes out uh, we know the birds start chirping there is something some color change at the horizon even before the sun rises things are changing and it it's self effulgent we don't have to see anything else with uh, that does to show the light of the sun so it is swayam vibhati something and it is anyani bhasati the sun shows light of other thing so if i have the candle or the torch i'm going to see it in the light of the sun only okay so the best example i always like is of the cloud the cloud is hiding the sun i don't see the sun anymore but in whose light the cloud is seen it is that sun is only illumining this cloud which is actually hiding it 
such a huge sand a small piece of cotton will hide it up the cotton in the, in the sense of the cosmos cotton i see so it doesn't it appears in that light only things are seen okay so so far at these first five verses uh, any doubts everything is clear we are all on the same page hmm? let's go and do the sixth mantra without any delay very beautiful uh, one it is hmm? tarini ji please come to chant भानंधीस्तुस्थिता भानंधीस्तुस्थिता अंतःकरणरूपिणी छाया this consciousness is god then we say god is everywhere okay now as a vedanta in you would say the consciousness is everywhere is it there in the stone is it there in the tar road on which my car is going is it there in my car what is it then we call it as in changing things okay so this and then trees have life yeah they have animal have yeah they have i'm having yes of course yes i am having it. then i feel oh i'm most superior hmm? then what happens to that stone where is the god in it or where is the consciousness in it is it there or is it not there first that is the question is consciousness in the stone is it in the trees plants and me only any answer uh, varsha ji is consciousness there in everything because i wanted to understand life and consciousness are they synonymous or like trees and plants like you meant i mean like you mentioned we have prana right so prana and consciousness are they the same or can an object have consciousness even though it doesn't have prana mm. so that's what that is the question is the stone yes, having uh, consciousness yes yes there's no prana but it has consciousness it has consciousness yes the humans have consciousness if it has consciousness then it should be conscious it should be sentient right if it is conscious consciousness is pervading into it then why it is not alive any thoughts perhaps um, if i may perhaps in the stone the consciousness is not reflected as vivid as an intellect exactly i was looking out for this answer 
a bucket of water will reflect the sun but the ground which on this bucket is placed or if the bucket is empty will you see the sun into it so the reflection is happening because the medium of water is there in that bucket the empty bucket on the ground just next to it on which the bucket is placed on that ground you are not seeing the sun reflection so where do we see the sun if the medium is there then only we see the stone and all they don't have medium to reflect it so excellent brilliant answer gabriela so this verse is bringing us closer now to our discrimination what is there so the first word chichaya so there is a sandhi over there it is chit chaya so that the is becoming ch and that sandhi forms chichaya the first word so this chit chaya the chit consciousness chaya reflection so the reflection of this consciousness is happening on this particular medium which we are having where buddhau saptami vibhakti of buddhi in aveshatah avesha is which is coming on which is getting into that reflecting medium so our buddhi our intellect it is a part of our subtle body that is the reflecting medium where this consciousness is getting reflected and this bhanam that means that awareness is spreading over there because bucket is of water the sun i can see into that bucket this intellect has this material like water where the consciousness can be reflected the stone will not have this reflecting medium so consciousness cannot reflect on that only sat part is there existence isness is there the chit part is not there in the stone or any in my car or on this mobile device charger is there electricity is there can i charge my tripod no i can charge only my mobile with it so the medium has to be there then the connection can be established if that medium is not there then where you will establish the connection so if the tripod is made in such a way that it can be charged then it's possible but that medium is not there for my tripod i can fix the charger only to my phone and now we have got so many varieties of phone so each phone has a different kind of a charger and within if you are using iphone then within that iphone you have got so many different okay this model charger is different okay now they are standardizing the charger but this was earlier was not happening oh now the model has changed so this is a different charger flat one big one so which so we we need that particular agent to reflect this conscious and this particular agent in us why we feel i am alive it's not that pran first comes i'm having this buddhi that intel on which it is getting reflected which is enabling the reflection on this buddhi so this is not on the gross level cross body is formed later so this is happening at a subtle level so it is the subtle so the body is alive or not is depending on the subtle body it is the vyana ah udana vayu's job to eject the subtle body and when it is ejected out we say the person is dead body is over there then what happened so the subtle body which was the medium is no more there so the medium is gone 
So this chichaya, aveshato, it is entering in this buddhi, bhanam, creating the awareness. And this buddhi, dhi means buddhi. This is a synonym. Dhi is buddhi. Synonym for buddhi is dhi. This dhi, dvidhasthita, over here it says, it is of two types. Or two cat. Dvidha, two. Ekaha, the first one, is ahankriti. One which is saying I, the ego. So this ego, we have to understand now in Vedanta terms is not in the ordinary language which we say ego is of pride. Not like that. Hmm? So over here, ego where? My sense, I-ness sense is there. That. So one is this ahankri. Anya syat. Anya, other one, syat is antah karana rupini. So over here, one is the ahankara. And the other is the antakkarana rupini. In antakkarana, this mind, chitta, and buddhi comes. Ahankar. So normally what Shankaracharya, if it was original Shankaracharya's work, in antakkarana we have mana, buddhi, ahankara, and chitta. So I have Vidya Aranyaji has separated. Ahankar is separate. And man, buddhi, and uh, chitta is kept as antakkarana. But basically, all these four are components of antakkarana. These four are as a part of our sukshma sharira. Hmm? So we have main nirvana shataka. Mano, buddhi, ahankar, chitta, ninaham. And not mana, buddhi, ahankara, chitta. So, over there, we are singing it very nicely with the tune and all. But what are we meaning that I am not mana, buddhi, ahankara, chitta? No, I am owning up. It's me. We feel that. Okay. So, just be careful over here. This verse is saying that this reflected consciousness is, uh, means it is reflecting because of this ingredient called buddhi, this reflecting agent called buddhi. This buddhi, they are dividing as two cut. So basically, it's a part of antakkarana only. And one they are saying ahankara and the other three, mana, chitta and buddhi in one part they are saying. Okay. So what is the difference? Basically, everything is one only. But slight function differences are there. When the thoughts are scattered, sankalpa, vikalpa. I should do, I should not do. Maybe, okay, I should do. I should eat, I should not eat. Okay, new classes announced whether I should join that or not. So many classes I'm already doing. Should I add it or not? Huh? So this is a job of mind. Always doubting status. I should or not. I should or not. Scattered. Unable to decide. This is man. Nishchayatmika buddhi. No, I should join. Life is already gone. 50% of life is over. Hmm? Nobody is living 100 years these days, right? Probably our grandparents lived 80, 90, not full 100. Probably our parents, 60, 70, hardly reaching 80. God alone knows how much we are living. So we can't even say 50%. Well, it's more than 50% of life gone now. Still went to study. No, no, no. I better study and come for the class. Whatever is coming in my way, let me be and listen at least, then let it soak in whenever it has to. Nishchai. Yes, I want to attend the class. So when you have your scattered thoughts, grossified and firm, and a decision is taken, that is buddhi. Everything is in ahankara. Uh, everything is in antakarana only. <clears throat> only thing, the status, wherever it is differing. <clears throat> That is changing. So, mana, when things are sankalpa vikalpa, yes or no, yes or no. Nishchaya, firmness, that is buddhi, man, buddhi. I own up, I have decided to take a class. I am attending the class. I have memorized this. I have this. Ankara, you are owning up the actions. I am the doer. 
yes i did this 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 i so when this i is popping up this is ahankara aham vritti aham vritti and then the storage capacity is there when the mind wants to decide yeah, in the past i had missed to that class that time and then it was so very good i should not have done this and all so this buddhi before becoming nischaya it refers to the old files it takes from the archives one by one this archive is our chitta the storage house of all the thoughts of the past whatever and this buddhi uses those files whenever it is in need to pull it out ah that time this had happened and that class went so good and swami ji said like this and now i have to hear and probably ask people the audio recording if it is existing or not and i have to go and search and then you feel so desperate so better i not miss better i attend yes 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 i am attending so then the buddhi makes nischay so this chitta means this storage area of our mind so basically everything is antakarna no? one is scattered one is the archives chitta other is confirming all the matters and taking a decision third is the fourth is the owning up of all this i am doing this is our antakarna all this is happening parallel it will happen very fast it is very subtle it happens very very fast the point of this shloka the highlight of this shloka is that this is happening at buddhi level the reflecting medium is at the buddhi level okay so many other components will be here now at this stage it is some let's say our antakarna is a, like a golden pot and there are things into it the bucket is reflecting the sun why because the water is very clean steady and stable i can see exactly the sun into it if the water was dirty if it was a muddied water maybe some but i would not be able to make out a clear cut if the water is moving the reflection is also moving so water is not having this capacity of uh, or the reflection is not having this capacity that both that combination has to be that the medium has to be steady and clean to have the full proper reflection if this point is understood then our antakarana's quality what it will get muddied with in different ways of sattva rajas tama combination each of us are at different moods at all time morning i was in what mood now i am in what mood is completely different probably i don't know how many times i have got angry at home with my family members or at my workplace i have got no idea or just archive from the memory somebody i remembered and i have got angry of that or felt sad about something in the past or agitation of which is not have happened imagining of the future all this is our sattva raja tamas play to have a excellent sattva is a good reflecting medium then you are available for the knowledge that's going to happen but if it is very dull and muddy if it is at the more of the tamas is there then whatever you can be in how many number of classes but because it's muddy it won't accept thing is very easy it won't understand the things to be archived will also not be of very good quality so each one will be different over here so the consciousness is the same there is no variety of consciousness each one carrying what kind of a bucket is determining each one's level of attentiveness there is no modification in the consciousness it is the container and that content is making the problem it is that reflecting medium that is making the problem why i am with such a such a medium 
with whatever vasanas I had got, I have ordered this body. With my behavior, it is ordered by me. I had these, these vasanas. I had this, this, this thing to do. And uh, because of my own actions, I've got this body. God is not becoming partial. He is favorite, so let me give her this. She is like this, so let me give. It's not that. My actions of the past, God alone knows what all janmas, have ordered this body and this reflecting medium. It is up to me how I keep it clean, how I purify it each day. House you don't clean only once and done, right? It's a daily chore. You eat how many times? Those many times you clean your plate. It's a daily chore. It doesn't finish. Oh, I had done it that day. So, <laughs> what happens? You cannot use it. So, how we do all this cleaning on a daily basis, like that, this cleaning also has to be done so that that reflection becomes clear. Are we clear on this? So, this verse is particularly very beautiful in the sense it is. It is, it is differentiating between the inert and the sentient and the insentient things. And what is so special about us? Slowly, we are going to get into the deeper aspect of it. So let's chant the next verse. Shri Hariji, can you chant? Chaya hankara yoraikyam. Chaya hankara yoraikyam. Chaya hankara yoraikyam. Aptaya pindavan matam. Aptaya pindavan matam. Aptaya pindavan matam. Tadahankara tadatmya. Tadahankara tadatmyat. Tadahankara tadatmyat. Dehas chetana tamagat. Dehas chetana tamagat. Dehas chetana tamagat. Chaya hankara yoraikyam. Fantastic. So over here, what it is trying to tell us is the reflecting sun and the water are different, right? But this water begins to think I am only the light and I am only the sun. This is the problem with us. That I am the doer. I am done. I have constructed this. I have invented this. I am powerful. I am rich. I am whatever I am. No, it is reflected. You have just borrowed that identification. You are nothing. You are an atma only. The body which you are calling my, 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 everything, whatever you can see is an atma. Because drugevan adrushyate. Only sakshi cannot be seen. All scenes are an atma only. But my identification is now so strong that I don't see the difference. And this is why, this is the text that we are trying to see it in different views and we are led to a certain thought process to understand this difference. So here in this particular verse, there is a beautiful analogy given. So we will see that. First, it says chaya, chaya is our reflection. And ahankara, our ego. 
also chaya ahankara yoho dvivachan is used so this is a beauty of sanskrit we have dvivachan it's singular plural normally everybody will have but we have a dvivachan so chaya ahankara yoho the these two chaya and the ahankara aikyam aikyam is unity so they become so one with each other what the reflected consciousness and this ego and they gave the example over here tapta means heated ayaha ayaha is ayan pindavat ayan ball pindavat like ayan ball we will complete this uh, verse and then i'll come back to this uh, drishtanta so tad ahankara tadatmya so that tad ahankara that ahankara and this tadatmya that tadatmya is a very beautiful word that identification that close identification dehaha this body chetanata consciousness agat agat is has attained so what it is saying that this identification of this close identification of the ego with that reflected consciousness is because because of that it feels that it has enlivened the body but it is not so the example given over here is the very classical tapta yah pindavat tapta yah pinda iron ball is how iron ball is heavy it is cold correct so it has a shape and it has a form and how is fire fire is not heavy fire doesn't have a shape and a form and fire is hot means what is iron ball opposite that is the fire and now if this iron ball is put in the fire iron ball is getting now heat of the fire and now this become so much like fire that after some time you don't uh, differentiate which is the fire and which is the iron ball the iron ball gets the heat of the fire the fire gets the shape of the iron ball and their tadat me so much that you don't know where is the fire and where is the iron ball i don't know if you have seen this that i have seen while doing our experiments of ayurveda when we had to do so many kinds of bhasmas and things and all the things unless it cools off or we bring it out of the fire otherwise we say it will get lost so we had to keep an identification we won't get to that metal uh, back again but in that what has happened fire took the shape fire took the weight of what of iron iron took the heat color everything so there is no more this black color iron ball it's all this red hot fire ball no more iron ball that much tadatmya so this consciousness the reflected consciousness and a buddhis tadatmya is so much that it owns up that i am this so it's this owning up is a problem this is our area of confusion this is where we are making a mistake and it's very difficult to get out of that because at the end of the day i it's i and it's me it's my house and my family my pain and my pleasure we are so much tadatmya into it that we are not ready to drop so that much training that much cleaning is needed so that many prakarana granthas we will have to keep on listening again and again same topic each bit with different shlokas in different ways so now we are learning in this kind of way so this is superimposition 
this so always in a vedanta example is this rope and the snake if we talk about that then probably we will understand easily in the, the light is dim the six feet rope is lying there and you feel that is the snake it did give you fear your heart did race probably you have frightened and run away or you are standing there staring at in a shock unless somebody throws light on it and you see rope as a rope but till then sweat has come heart has palpitated now the snake which you saw on the rope never existed but it changed when you got the light but till then it existed how big was the snake the snake was as big as the rope only on a 6 feet rope you won't see 2 feet snake or a 10 feet snake the size of the snake everything will be as per that rope and it will give you all the jitters all the fear all the symptoms everything because that time that rope and the snake had the superimposition so this is exactly this verse is trying to tell that this fire and iron superimposition is so much so that identification is so much so that you think it's you that sakshi is sakshi means you and you means this body because of this tadatme and this is i and this is me so until this thought is tense the further growth is not going to be so easy towards the end we will be getting some meditations like where we are going to focus but actually we should know where we are in our gps system even if you have to go to any place you want to key in you will have to put your starting point i am here so i am now here at this tadatmya state <laughs> it is impossible for me that i am different and this is my ego this this division i'll have to analyze and this is where our text is leading us to so i'm not going to take the next verse because it's going to go a little more different aspect that what kinds of tadatmya we are get, getting into so there are going to be so i'm going to give this on this much on the thought that there is our subtle body the subtle body aspects so in that subtle body there are so many other components and the other indriyas and all come there are 19 components which is our tatva bodh topic so homework is refer tatva bodh and find out what is sukshma sharira in that sukshma sharira antakarana is mentioned what is antakarana we just said the four components <coughs> out of that four component this buddhi this is our reflecting medium and over here in this particular sixth yeah sixth uh, uh, mantra we have said buddhi he has kept uh, as ahankara as separate and other three components as antakarana he has taken but basically while we are learning in vedanta we learn all the four as our uh, uh, antakarana aspect so this part we learned and this drishtant of taptaya pinda probably you can google some image of hot iron ball to see it in the fire you will not be able to identify so that read on this chew on this topic think on this and then next monday we travel one more step ahead to see that how why why this ego identification and can we free from this bondage <laughs> what this this identification we have all is it possible of course it's possible that's what vedanta is training us so this tadatmya that is our point when we address the problem area so this is our gps starting point then we should be able to reach that okay i am not this body i am that sakshi but this i who is who is saying this i is it this ahankara i or you are saying as a status are you standing away from that and say so this is all very subtle so slowly we will enter 
for today we will stop over here any questions on these two Shaji, this this was this thing i was relating to a chapter 9 in gita i don't know if my comparison is right says maya tadamidam sarvam jagada vyakta murtina matsthani sarva bhutani na chahan teshva vasthita na cha matsthani bhutani pashyame yoga maishwaram bhuta bhrunna cha bhuta stha mamatma bhuta bhavan i think like the example that you gave between a fire and the the steel ball right iron, iron ball can be with Says, the ocean and the water and the uh, wave which guruji hmm. mentioned once that ocean the wave thinks that it is a part of the ocean the wave thing it's different and not a part of the ocean not a part of the ocean sorry yeah. and then it's going to die but it's actually not dying but it is the ocean itself now so we hear in this particular verse it is krishna saying at what he is and what he he um, so it's this uh, these two verses are on a little complicated uh, very uh, different uh, way that it is uh, saying um, but you can relate it indirectly you can relate on that hmm? he says uh, all beings exist in me but i do not dwell in them nor do being exists in me behold my divine yoga supporting all beings but not dwelling in them i am myself the efficient cause of all beings like even though the uh, iron ball takes the form of the fire but in reality uh, the fire is not in the iron something like that i mean the iron is not in the fire so i think i just yeah good funny. good reference and good cross reference so he is stating from his standpoint of view okay. it is not stated as a ahankara standpoint of view that i am in them and they are not in me it is not in that standpoint of view but it is yes tell so it is again of that reflected consciousness only the topic uh, is yeah very good related at least any more questions Ashish, the storm doesn't have consciousness. Right? It doesn't have the reflective need to. So, if it would have had, then it would be yes, like a tree, plant, animal. It is having only the sat part. The chit part is not there. Can I see it this? It doesn't. Or some metals we. Make it the shape of God, and we pray it as. When you do a prana pratishtha, yeah. So that is a medium again. Medium. You invoke in it. You invite the devata to reside in it, and you bring it life. Thank you. Same thing with the Shali Gram. Same thing with the Abhishek that we do. We invoke a Devata into it. Devata is not Ahankara. The stone is not going to say, "I am God." We make it God. Stone will not. So there is no Ahankara aspect of it. That is the again Sat aspect. Devata sat aspect over there. Stone will never say, "I am God." Varsha ji, we get reflection. We we have got the media. That's why we are getting the reflection. So we'll mm -hmm. always have like we can't say that we are. Like we are, we become God. Yeah, Aham, Brahm. That we can't say because <laughs> we have got only medium, and then we we uh, du duality always will be there because we Stand have got. Standpoint. Yeah. Standpoint. When when you would get realized, mm -hmm. your the duality will still exist only. The change happens only in the understanding. you will still need food to eat 
you will still be going around. You can't say, okay, I'm Sarva Vyapak, so I'm everywhere and I don't need to go anywhere. No. So a transactional world will remain the transactional world. The change happens in the understanding of it. Okay. Your experience of infinite happiness and love will be there. That will not change in spite of the world throwing anything at you. So that it will freedom. be an experience. It will be experience. Yes, your texture of your mind changes. It's at that pure sattvic state hmm. where you don't experience any sorrow and you have compassion and you don't see it separate. If by mistake I poke your eyes, you can get angry on me. But your own finger, it, it goes in your eye when you have, let's say, combing or something. You don't get angry on your finger. Correct? Yeah. Or you don't abuse your finger or you don't cut off your finger. You, you don't do anything because that's your part. You have that compassion. But that same compassion you don't have for me if my finger goes in your eyes. Yeah, can't you be careful? Oops, why did you do this? Be slow, leave it. Sudden reaction would come. So when that state you are, when you have realized, you will have you, your feeling only in every other thing. There will be this compassion that is overflowing that you don't feel difference. Mm -hmm. Your happiness will not get disturbed by anything that. So the world continues. All the politics yeah. will continue. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Your Go need of your food to exist and fuel uh, your existence of your body will continue. All mm. that doesn't stop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Most welcome. Any more questions? <laughs> Vasuji, on the aspect, what you mentioned about the isness and the consciousness, the differences, it's a lot of process first of all. But on the same note, so is it because because you said Antakarna has to be purified for us to uh, realize. Uh, so like uh, Sat and Chit are both aspects of the divine only, right? Not separate. So and whereas inert, like the stone can reflect only the Sat but not the Chit, whereas we are able to reflect Sat and Chit. So is it because of the impurities that we are not able to reflect the Ananda aspect or is is that a far stretch? Because the medium is not there. The bucket is empty. Water is not there. If the water is, wall is not reflecting sun. Mm -hmm. The bucket is not reflecting sun. The floor which on that bucket is there, that's not reflecting. If that bucket is having water, then only the reflection is possible. So it's just that they don't have the medium only to reflect. Huh, if we a like, mirror is there, then only I can see myself into it. On the wall, if the mirror is not there, on on the wall, I don't see myself. I I got what you said about the between uh, say a stone and a human being. What I'm asking is, so when human beings have the uh, the subtle body to reflect the chit. But we are not always able to reflect the ananda aspect, right? Which is what we seem to be trying to find. So is because of our identification. My ananda I have associated with Pani Puri. My ananda I have associated with my husband, my son. My ananda I have associated with my new phone. How long it will last? My Tadatmya. I should have associated with myself, the self-self, not I, the ego. But I have, I have got so many association with all the anatma things. Whatever I see is anatma. Whatever I see is anatma. But I'm not focusing on who is the final seer. I, my focus is on the scene. Who is the seer that I have not seen? I'm thinking I am the seer. I am the one who is it. That I is this ahankara. At that level only I'm coming and sticking. At that top tier. But I have to go one more be behind. That who is seeing this ahankara? Mm -hmm. That I am not able to. See, if I'm saying this is my hand. Means hand is not me, right? But I very clearly understand this is the book. Mm -hmm. Book is not me. Mm -hmm. 
my book my hand my ahankara no that that means that there i don't uh, disconnect mm -hmm. this is what this tapaya in the that the tadat means so much that to dissect that is getting problematic until that disconnect then is not everything else i'm going to say i and minus only and my likes and dislikes will exist and as long as this likes dislike is there that means this is and this is no that means two things are always there so the whole exercise of this particular prakarana grantha is to be focused from the seen and see the seer but at the moment the scenes are only so attractive so i am enjoying the scenes of it and that i am enjoying is this i ahankara i i am enjoying i am not in that state of the big capital i i am still in the state of small i if i am in the state of so big capital i let the scene change pani puri come sun come job come phone come my ananda is unaffected but i have this graph no up and down today i am like this tomorrow i might tomorrow my phone is old tomorrow another model has come and tomorrow my son finds his girlfriend and leaves my other house ayyo he is not asking me anymore finish house has got old maintenance is too much now it was my favorite house <laughs> is no more my favorite because it's taking all my energy to maintain a house See, it changed once upon a time happiness is not the same thing same food at the 10th time doesn't give me happiness my rava laddu is favorite and laddu no cannot every day laddu no cannot i'm getting bored out it's not staying that graph of happiness is not same this is the whole issue because the association is only at the scene level and i'm playing over there only my playground is not yet changing uh, my identification is so strong have i answered your question any more questions varsha ji ji uh, my friend wants to ask a question would you be if you talk i mean okay yeah this is lalita i'm lalita from pune and the okay. nanishwara moved that wall isn't it he sat on that wall and he traveled okay. on the wall so so yes. i just need to know about that tadatmya that he had See, the saints the saints can do anything he is the ishwar aspect he just didn't move the wall on him, on the back the mukta bai yeah. she could do the bhakri the bhakti yeah not only just that and the buffalo he could get the vedas got up so with the almighty anything is possible so then whether the buffalo has intelligence or the wall has the sentience or the back can make the rotis mm. so that's beyond our thing it's mm. like krishna leela yeah how can the baby kill the asuras yeah. infant do miracle how can ram ji be same that tomorrow i am going to become king and today uh, i don't have any clothes and my royal robes also and no house and i have to go not for one or two years but full 14 and i still feel happy and i don't feel disturbed with it so saints come in our life to show this by example in the human form they've mm -hmm. taken because i i can understand the human form a formless thing i don't understand alaka laksha no asuna hai kai kutha prashna nahi ata nahi ata theek any more questions theek so let's end today's session keep your spine straight close your eyes Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in. Hold it there. Om.
ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾರ್ಪ ನಮಸ್ತೆ Hi on everyone see you on next monday i was just thinking of this thought that if i am treated like shri ram ji how much angry i will become and how many lawyers i would take to sue all of them for becoming so unjust on me and what all fights would i have put on and whether i would see that mother's face again or whether i would have abuse so just put your place into that if that's done all such kinds of reactions that we would do it's that mental texture because the identification was with the position with the power with this and my this is my rights why it is for amje it was not he saw it just one as it didn't matter <laughs> okay whoever we what it okay it's your wish doesn't matter so from what to so what we'd have to that change if we had then it is yeah we will be somewhere hari om see you all next monday hari om varsha ji hari om varsha ji hari om varsha ji thank you hari om varsha ji thank you thank you hari om hari om hari om hari om varsha ji thank you hari om varsha ji thank you hari om hari om